All right, guys, I am back with another HMV haul. This is my fifth go around, I think. Um, kind of disappointed in what they've been doing at HMV. It's like they're really dragging out their sales. Um, initially, I thought the store would be closing at the end of the month of March, but it looks like now they're going to kind of drag it into April, which I guess could be an okay thing. Um, the sales are still 40% off, which is, I'm kind of disappointed. It really should be at 60% now, but um, what are we going to do? Um, the only deals there are right now are, are pretty much the two for 30 titles and the two for uh, 15. Because right now the two for 30 titles are going for two for 12. All right, I'm going to show you guys what I got real quick. All right, so first up, we have a DVD box set, and it's uh, I Zombie Season 2. Really do enjoy this show a lot. Um, this one's about a girl that becomes a zombie, and she works in the coroner's office. And she ends up solving crimes because when she eats people's brains... Um, she has flashes of their memory and it usually is up to like um, solving the murder and she's working with the detective. Um, really do enjoy the show a lot. Um, the second season I like a lot more than the first season because they, are, they started having more fun with the idea. And I think another problem with the show initially was that they were keeping the fact that she was a zombie a secret and I kind of, they kind of hurt the show. But once she comes up to more and more people the show becomes more fun and they play with it a bit. Um, Literally looking forward to seeing what they do next. The show's coming back season three, I think, in a couple weeks. So, um, if I decide to pick this one up, I could have got season one as well, but I didn't like that one as much. I might still get it before it's all said and done. Um, not much in the way of special features on this one, um, just like a Comic Con panel and some deleted scenes. All right, next up, we have Night of the Demons 2. Really, really happy to have this one in my collection. Like, I own the original and the remake, but I still don't have part three. And this is one I was looking at for a bit, but it was kind of expensive. So I was kind of waiting on this one as well. Um, luckily, it was in the DVD section. The DVDs are moving as fast as the Blu-ray, so uh, I was able to hold off on picking this one up. But I am looking forward to revisiting this one. I think Ben Stiller's wife is in this. The one that kind of looks like Marsha Brady, so I'm kind of looking forward to... Uh, checking her out because she has to be pretty young in this movie this is like an early 90s movie all right so that's it for the dvds now on to the blu-rays first up we have uh, the mind's eye now this was directed by the same guy that made almost human and this one's kind of like a scanners inspired film where these two psychics are brought to some compound run by an evil guy or something like that and they have to escape so i'm looking forward to checking this one out this is the one i've been wanting for a bit um and there wasn't really available to many other stores, so looking forward to checking that one out. Okay, now these last two pickups here are Scream Factory releases, and you can see they're part of the 2 for 30 originally, which I got for 2 for 12. So we have Candyman, Farewell to the Flesh. So um, really love the original Candyman movie. And this one I thought was just okay, so I decided I'd pick this one up. Um, I almost bought the DVD a few years back. I'm glad I didn't because... Um, not really big on upgrading right now, but unless the price is right. So there is some special features, an auto commentary, and then some interviews with Tony Todd and Veronica Cartwright. So, and last up, we have uh, Slumber Party Massacre. Also, you know, I got this for two for 12, so it was six bucks for each uh, DVD, the Screen Factory ones. Really did enjoy this one. I um, This is an upgrade. I have the uh, original Shelf Factory three disc release. Um, if they would have had parts two and three, I would have got that as well, but they didn't. But I remember really liking this film. It was a lot of fun was when I finally watched it. It was more fun than I remember. So that's pretty much it for now, my pickups for this week. And hopefully when I go back next time, they'll actually have some decent deals this time around. All right, thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all next time.